All right, Spreaker, we are up. We are up, and hopefully we are live. Sent out the black signal. I'm thinking people got it. Let me see. I'm seeing it on my phone. I still, yep. Let me see what uh, what picture came out with. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We see we see that the we see that the the t-shirts are getting all over, right? You know, we need to see. I need some pictures from other cities and other states. So those of you that's that's ordering them out of state, I need y'all to go on and hook up the family and send me some pictures of the shirts from wherever you are, right? Right now, the sale that I have for uh, $10 is over. So now all the shirts are going out at 15 because, you know, a lot of those was pre-orders. That means that I was there, that people helped us um, by pre-ordering the shirts in a sense to give us an opportunity to get out and produce the shirts. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we working on, we working on low, we, we got less in the shoestring budget. You know what I'm saying? You know, people say, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. We don't got boots. We wearing sandals around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We work hard on Giami. So right now, I'm getting the show up on Facebook. I'm behind. I ain't got on my. I don't even got on my uniform yet. But we gonna go on and put it up. Um, I'm trying to hurry up because we got the. Uh, I think there is something going on for the comedic New Year. Happy comedic New Year and greater money to all of those that are listening. All right. Um. Let me see, Daily Toast, it's Amani, and I did all my push-ups yesterday for all those people who are in doubt about it, We it was a push-up day yesterday, um, um, because, you know, when we get together, you know, we be slipping off and trying to trick each other into uh, into saying the days, those people that's, in, that's involved with it, understand, because like I said, man, one of the major pieces, we got to make sure that not only that our minds are sharp, but our bodies are sharp. You understand what I'm saying? We got to make sure not only are our minds sharp, we got to make sure that our bodies are sharp. You understand? So, um, what we do is that when we come together, we try to catch each other. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're not using the proper language. You know what I'm saying? You're not using it. And see what people got to understand that it's going to grow with that, right? It's going to grow as we grow. It's going to move as we move. So the language is going to start expanding. So it's going to move from the seven days of the week. It's going to move into getting into what's going on with the months. It's going to move into how we tell time. See, because one, like I said, the first battlefield is the battlefield of the mind, right? Because even if we was to get resources, even if we was to get money, if our minds are fucked up, if our minds are messed up, we will not be able to use those resources properly, right? So we got to make sure that the battlefield of the mind is together. So this is why we took the days of the week and we started incorporating Dengu's and Saba. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, hell with Monday. We on the mojo, right? Hell with hell with the other day. We got Kuji Chagalia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kaumba, Imani. And for the young warriors in the school, we got... We got unity, self-determination, we got respect, we got gratitude, we got purpose, we got creativity, and we got trust, right? So this language that we're building, right, not only do we have one language, but we have another language coming out of the language that we have. And if we want to start taking control of it, we have to start learning to speak into reality what we want. We have to start learning to speak the reality. Now, what I have to do is, because I'm running behind, so I wanted to get it on before 10 because uh, we got some stuff going on and I have to get my kids up out of here um, is I need to open up the Uber conference line. I'm going to open up the line, right? Um, but I'm going to open up the line. I'm gonna, First, we're going to do um, the libations. But one of the things that I want to do today, especially today, is I got this thing that I call a mind stopper. I'm going to play the mind stopper. And I want people to check out the Mind Stopper, and we're going to kind of have a conversation around the Mind Stopper. Now, also, I need to let people know the Brother Will Case is coming next week. So what I what I did was out. Uh, we had um, I had my Giami organizational meeting. I had to meet with the with, with the core, right? Um, because we got a lot of changes going on, so I had to make sure that they understand what's going on, so that we can move forward uh, in strength, right? I always want to move forward in strength, right? Um, and what 
what came up was that this weekend, th this coming weekend, we have the um, African American Wellness Walk, Men's Well Wellness Walk, and um, we don't want we don't want to interfere with that, and we don't want to take away from the possibility of people truly experiencing the healing power of the process the brother uh, Wakesa is bringing. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to move all of the training to the afternoon. So after, I don't know. Okay, that's me. I like my own voice, but I ain't, I did not mean for it to pop up. So I'm going to find where it is and I'm going to eliminate it. We will find, we will destroy, right? Now, um, well, anyway, the, the piece that I'm trying to get to is that what, uh, what Kesa will be holding the class. Are y'all ready? He will be holding the class, but it will all happen in the afternoon. So we got that whole day, family. See, because this is, this is the beauty of having your own space, right? We got it all day. We need to roll into the night. We can roll into the night because he leaving, he's leaving in the morning. So if we have to extend it, we can extend it. So we're going to start at about 1 o'clock and we're going to roll. And, it's, and it worked out perfectly because uh, in the morning, I got to get up and I got to go help. I got to go help one of my families move, right? I got to go help. I got to help some of the tribe move, right? So I'm going to get up and get me some soldiers and get up and go handle that business, right? Then we're going to show up. For the case piece, well, I might not be able to grab no soldiers because a lot of brothers is going to the uh, walk, you know, and actually I was trying to prepare for the run, but this is more important, so I'm going to go handle this. I will be opening the lines real soon. Shouts out to Mr. Vita Nelson. Shouts out to Brother Shock. I see y'all out there. Y'all miss my whole diatribe that I just laid down. But anyway, family, once again, let me stress, we will be having one case next week, but instead of early... I'm calling now. Okay, cool. I'm not opening the lines right now. Hold on. All right. Um, I open the lines. I'm opening the lines after I pour. Um, after we do our thing. Now, um, so give me about 20 minutes, maybe. So here we go. Ugh. All right. What's going on with my What's going on with my machine? Here. All right. Let's see. Lines. Will be open. Um, lines lines will be open. Six one four dash five five six dash four five three five. Let me get that on the other side. Walk walk is today. No no no. The walk is um the walk is next. Kaumba. I know somebody out there trying to trip me up and get me to say the damn days, but I, you, you know, come on now. Stop it. It's next Kaumba. The African American uh, man, Men's Wellness Walk is next Kaumba. And um, in, in support of that, what's going on here? It ain't showing that I'm up on Spreaker. I've been doing all this talking, ain't been up on Spreaker. Come on, Spreaker. Why you playing with me? All right, those on the app. If anybody on the app is out there and you can hear me, go on, throw up a thumb or something so I can know that y'all out there because my machine is saying that I'm not on Spreaker. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's saying I'm not on Spreaker right now as we speak. So what I'm going to, oh, I know what's up. I know what could be possibly wrong. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. All right, cool. So it takes me some time to get the stuff together. All right, boom. Let me go and pin this up. So, Today, there's supposed to be something happening for the new year. And what I want to do is, let me show y'all. I have a new tea combination that I'm using. Won't say what it is. You know what I'm saying? We got to have some industry secrets. But I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been experimenting with a tea combination. And I'm going to bring a little bit of the premature ambrosia so that y'all can taste the quality of the tea, and I want people to start learning what it feels like in your mouth as this starts to change from the tea to the ambrosia, to the drink, to to that to the to the drink of the gods, to the immortal elixir. I want you to feel what it tastes like. So when I come 
to to uh, the meeting. I'm coming with gifts, family. So I got to just get some small cups. Because I know how some of y'all want to get down. Right? So we're going to be doing our toast with this. This is a fresh batch that I did. All right? Let me see. Um, call in line is open. All right, we're about to open these lines up. Open these lines up. Remember, we still got to do the toast. Actually, I'm going to do the song first. Going to get down and do it. Uh, the black signal went out. Some people at church and stuff, I understand. Uh, and I think it's something. Uh, Navita, do you remember whether, because Elder Tony said there was something going on today. And I want to make sure, because I'm going um, to be in the place to be. Sister Terra Hassa is on. So happy comedic new year to all of y'all that's celebrating that. You know what I'm saying? It's important that we start uh, grabbing these days. Now, also, has anybody heard about this so-called eruption in Yellowstone? Should we be concerned or should we just continue on what our business as black folks do? You know what I'm saying? Anybody out there scared about this eruption? Because y'all know that's a super volcano. And I don't know if y'all know. If you don't know what a super volcano is, you need to look that shit up as soon as possible. Right? Um, but I'm, you know, I'm just chilling right now. I, I, I figure when the world ends, if it ends like that, it's going to be too fast for us to do any goddamn thing about it anyway. So I'm going to still keep on kicking it and having a good time. Keep on learning. Keep on reaching. Keep on nation building until it's over and done with. And I'm so, I'm so used to people having predictions about the end of the world that this shit doesn't bother me anymore. Also, think about this. What about the school that's going on in Akron with, with my homeboy? You know, Akron, we produce greats, right? You know, you know. My man, my man LeBron James in the school, any 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 thoughts about that? You know what I'm saying? Putting his mouth, money where his mouth is, you know. Um, um, but, you know, but I'm going to also throw on one of my mind stoppers. I'm going to throw the mind stopper on. But family, let's get down to it. I want to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty. And you are now listening to Giami Journey Media. Ah. All right. That's my son messing with my sound. Let's try that again. Anime, anime, I need you to kind of get up on the screech. I want to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Radio. My fault. I, what I, did I say it wrong, Sasha? Yeah. All right, family, once again, let me get it together. I can't be yelling at anime if I don't got it together. Once again, I want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty. This is Giammy Journey Media. Oh, anime is in the house. All right, family, this is a Heart of a Simple production, and you know this is the Daily Toast where we daily gather to salute our ancestors, and it's a Heart of a Simple production. <laughs> and we stop. Stop, stop, stop the blood, your old paradigm. I see. All right, ladies, put on. It's real life here, Jamie Journey, so hold on while I manage the troops. All right, um, y'all need to put on that shea butter. Y'all need to brush your teeth. Y'all need to go and put on your clothes because we got to get up out of here because I, I think I think the event is going on. If it's not going on now, start, at least start at 11. All right, family, so if you are there, um, could uh, tear a hostage say far as the volcano, continue on. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> yeah, because that's a super volcano. That shit go, it's... it's it's over. Well, it's over for a lot of that. See, this is the beautiful thing about Ohio, especially central, right? Ohio, southeast. You know, we cut. This is the beauty about Ohio. Ohio is so far from everything, right? There's some major shit to go off, and we'll be the ones that be like, "Damn, we made it. <laughs> we get to take over the world." God damn it! All we gotta do is be organized. Right? All we got to do is speak the same language. All we got to do is have an economic life. You know what I'm saying? Putting stuff together and build. So, all right, family, now, y'all know I'm doing some experimentations. So, right now, I'm on that bentonite. Right? That bentonite. I know it sounds like one of those new street drugs. That bentonite. I'm on that bentonite. I'm on that bentonite. Right? But basically what this is, this is a detox. And it's, it's actually a clay that um is, is used to help detox the body right you you take the clay i mean you take it 
and it help it helps to absorb some of the uh, poisons that may be um, in your system. Now, let me read what they say. I should have grabbed my glasses. Bentonite for elementary detoxification works like a major, like a magnet to grab and bind unwanted substances by absorbing by an absorbent action. Bentonite for uh, maximum activity. The total surface area to uh, grab unwanted substances in one tablespoon serving is over 8,000 square feet, more than the floor surface area of an average size 2,000 square foot home. Shots out to Joe Barry. I see you out there, family. The family is gathering. Now, y'all know the rules of the show. You need to have you some water, family. We starting off with the water, right? Got the water. I'm using right now, this is artesian water. I got some artesian water. I got my glass. If you are over 35 and you don't have a glass. With a plastic glass. No, that's if you're a baby. If you're over 35 and you don't have a glass, right? This for this for toasting, right? Toasting and uplifting the ancestors and get your help drink. Now I don't know why my damn my damn phone keep on just rolling. Give me my water, baby. What you doing? I, now I'm starting off with 33 ounces, and the rules the rule is for your body for maximum for maximum health, family. You need to drink half your weight in ounces. So once again, if you weigh a hundred pounds every day, you need to be drinking. 50 ounces of water. Not in one sitting. You can drink it throughout the day. Alright. I start off with 33.8 fluid ounces on the show and drink it to help get help not only get myself started, but to get you started. Right? Because if we don't take care of our health, we can't toast our ancestors. If we can't toast our ancestors, it's harder for us to access our power. Right? Because family, we have a whole army. Waiting for us. Do y'all not remember? Those of you that are, are, are students of Marcus Garvey. Since Marcus Garvey celebration is coming up in two weeks. Right? Actually, his birthday is on the 18th. And his celebration that we're going to have is going to be in two weeks. And we're going to turn that out, family. Because this is what's going to happen, right? Before I even get to what Marcus Garvey said. On, at the, uh, at the Marcus Garvey celebration, which will be held on August 25th, which is a Kaumba, Right? What's going to be going down is that we will be bringing in a former, um, uh, be quiet, baby. Right. You're right. Your birthday is the 24th. Um, we'll be bringing the, uh, a former leader of the UNIA in. I can't remember the brother's name. I got to look it up. I will have, we'll have the flyer soon and I'll be texting that out, put sitting there on black signal. But anyway, on that day. We will be fed by a salad that will be be provided and created from seed from the seed all the way up to where you are eating it by our children on our in our gardens. Right? So like I said, family, I don't know I don't know nobody else is doing it like this, right? We I, I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm sitting out the challenge. I'm challenging all other organizations, right? All other black conscious organizations. I'm challenging you, right? To, to, to show me where you are having your, where you're having a festival, where you're having a, 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 a holiday. And the food that is being provided is created from the seed to the very production by the young people. Columbus, we got it going on and we just don't even realize it. We, we got it going on and we just don't even realize it. We allowing ourselves to be outshadowed by motherfuckers who got nothing but talk. But we have been doing nothing but work for the last 30 years. We've been working. We've been struggling. We've been allowing, and we've been stepping to the stepping into the shadows and letting everybody else collect all the props. I'm like, family, that it's time for that shit to stop. Midwest need to rise up. You know what I'm saying? Because, it, it, I mean, it's the balanced minded. We got the East Coast, they on some bullshit. We got the West Coast, they on some bullshit. Then we got all these other big cities that be on some bullshit. It's time for the ones that's doing the work to start rising. 
I'm challenging. I want you to send out. I want y'all to send. I want y'all to like and share this. I want you to send this out to all of the motherfuckers out there, to all of the family out there. And I challenge you to top what we're doing. At our Marcus Garvey celebration, we will be feeding the people salad that has been produced by our young people in their farms, in their gardens. We're going to have enough salad for 50 to 100 people. And I expect y'all to come out and eat your baby's food. I expect it. And those of you that like Ambrosia, by the way, right? I will be having an Ambrosia dressing just for you, right? Now, not, and it's going to be free too. The salad is free. Then on top of that, the young people are going to get together and they're going to fry fish. So, now, I should take it the next, I should go, I should take it the next level. I should call my barber. I should say, be like, Dr. Dolly, we need fish. So, and I should call my other elder and say, you know what? We need some fish. So not only, not only will we be eating salad, because I could, because I could, because I could do it. I could do it. But I ain't, I ain't going to do that because then we got, but then actually maybe I should. We'll have salad that has been grown and created by our children on land that we got. Right? On, on land and we own, but can't say it too loud. Right? And I could have fish provided by the elders. Because they got more than enough fish. I know Dr. Dolly probably got enough fish to feed 200 people in his freezer right now. And I know I got another elder out there. Then I know he got enough fish. And if they don't have enough fish, they might even hook up if I tell them I need it. And go out and get us the goddamn fish. And I ain't talking about going to Kroger's. I'm talking about going to one of these lakes out here right now and getting the fish. That's how cold we are here. But I'm going to leave it alone. Now, the event will be on August 25th at, on Mount Vernon at the Black Studies Extension Center. We will be having a speaker, and it will be from 12 to 3. I will be sending out on the, on the Black Signal. If you're not on the Black Signal, I don't know what to say for you. I go, see, and this is how, this how many people we got in our community that like fishing, family. So what I'm trying to tell, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, that could be that that could be an actual reality. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not even playing. Y'all think? See, we here here here. It has never been about play. We have been humble. Period. We have been humble. Family, I go. I, I done traveled all over the world. And I'm trying to tell y'all right now, man. I have not. Been to some place. See, and what happens is we got motherfuckers who are, who seeking love. We got people who who seeking validation, and they go to other places from where we are, and they go there and they come back and they make it seem like people are doing so much, and it's like they don't even realize what's going on here. Don't you realize it? Do you? I mean, do y'all understand that for for the longest time that Columbus. Columbus was a major hub for black consciousness through the 70s. Dr. Ben used to come here on a regular basis. Um, John Henry Clark used to come here on a regular basis. Do I mean, do y'all not understand that? Elder Bowie got the, we got the footage. And it's like we just, we just sit back and we allow other people to act like they know some shit. Nigga, I don't give a fuck whether or not you can speak that higher. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, we, I mean, we just, we, we, we get mesmerized. We get, you know, I can read Hebrew. I, I can speak comedic. You know what I'm saying? My elder was knocking down doors and chasing dope men up out the motherfucking neighborhood. That's why he didn't have time to learn that shit. Right? My elder was building a motherfucking business that's been existing for 20 years and it has spawned enough, it has spawned people that's been out here saving. Listen. Just between what, but what Dr. Kelsey and Normal X did, we have saved over at least ten thousand people. Do y'all not real? I mean, do do you do you not realize that? And then with the with the national connections, we are up on up upwards of around a hundred thousand people. So I'm just like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Joe Barry. I, I go off. Don, 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 shouts out to Mr. Gray. 
John is uh, Don. Don is one of those young people who remember back in the days the work that we was doing. So he know brother how Tim go in, and I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting upset. I don't even know why I'm getting upset. I'm actually I'm getting excited. Happy comedic new year. Great money to each and every last one of y'all. So family, listen. Like I said, um, now back to what Marcus Garvey said. Marcus Garvey told us, and this is why one of the reasons. I thought a poor libations to our personal ancestors was important. Marcus Garvey said that he would come back with 100 million Africans like a whirlwind. All we got to do is make the request. We got our ancestors waiting for us to take action, family. All right. I took the pit tonight. We're going to see how it's, it's working. I mean, actually, I actually feel it. I feel it working in my system. And like I say, I will not suggest anything for anybody until I, I'm not done with my test yet. I did do the diatomous DE. The, the di, I got to have it and be able to read the diatomaceous earth. I did the diatomaceous earth. And that's, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Um, we, I'm, I'm working on a bit tonight. The bit tonight so far has been working. Um, I've been getting some old cravings back though. That, that's kind of, that's kind of bothering me a little bit. So let's um, let's start over. I want to welcome everybody. Um, you are now standing amongst the congregation of the mighty. Um, this is Giami Journey Media. Great job, anime. You know, you got to keep these mystic animals happy. You got to encourage them. This is the Heart of a Symbol production. And this is the Daily Toast. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. <laughs> Look to one verse. Grab your glasses. Grab your water. Y'all know what it is, huh? I'm, I'm just starting. My daughter, at this point, drink your water, family. Drink your water. Come on, come on. Come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 breathe. What should we say? Breathe, 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 drink. Lift your glass and sip some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and gulp some water. Just drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Uh -huh. Body, drink some water. Move your body then drink some water. Come on. Move your body, drink some water. Move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Last verse, most important. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. I ain't forgot about that. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now, Sister Navita also reminded me, even though she didn't remind me, it's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. Sister Navita was on an agenda, right? That we will also be having, see, August is an incredible month. Like I said, we got what case is coming next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. The magnificent, the Blacknificent Seven is coming to Columbus. If you know people, let them know. They will be here, right? We talked about it being pushed back, so it's going to be in the afternoon. So I'm waiting for the new flyers. I'll get that out. Then the, the next week after that, 
on the 18th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We will be kicking it with the African Village Art Festival over by the Kwanzaa Park off of, on Bryden Road, right? On Bryden Road by the Kwanzaa Park. You know, we're going to have that whole area blocked off. We got another cultural stabilizing holiday called the African Village Arts Festival. Come out and support, family. We also will have, a um, um, what is it called? We're going to be celebrating. We're going to be recognizing Prince and his artistic work as well as the, and, and really the major reason that we, we're recognizing Prince, because I know a lot of y'all, I know a lot of conscious people getting, is getting in a bunch, right? You, you're getting upset. Ah, I, 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 I hear, I hear the conscious, I hear the collective scream out there, right? Why Prince, right? Because when you go and you look at Prince's legacy and you look at the, 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 the donations that Prince was making and where he was making the donations, you will be, you will be pleasantly surprised, family. You know what I'm saying? Prince was supporting a lot of shit, and then you start listening to some of the conversations that he had with some other black folks prior to him dying. And then some of y'all, do y'all remember when Prince had slave tattooed across his face because he was in he was he he was in rebellion against the record company? And do many of y'all do y'all do y'all remember that Prince was one of the first artists that actually pulled off and really claimed his independence and start pushing shit off on the internet before the phones and all that shit? Y'all don't remember that? You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's me. All right. So we're gonna be celebrating him at the festival at the African um at the African at the African Village Arts Festival. So it's gonna be going down um, August 18th. From 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Make sure you come out. Vendors, we're still looking for vendors. So if y'all would, please, please, please get in contact. I sent it out on a black single. Um, I, I sent it out. Shaka say he gonna be there as well. Make sure that y'all are in the house. Okay, when is the fest on Mount Vernon? It's not a. I don't know about the festival on Mount Vernon. Is there a festival going on on Mount Vernon? I need somebody in the family to let me know. I need to put that on the black signal. I need we need to know. You know what I'm saying? Cuz you know, Giami what we trying to do, we're trying to um we're trying to we're trying to get this black signal so that every time something is popping off, we got Texas going out. That's what that's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm at about 110. I got 110 people on the black signal, right? I'm trying to get it up to 10,010. Right, because it's more than it's, it's ten thousand. It's 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 a hundred thousand black folks in Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sister Navita say. Um, so um, Joe, elder brother Joe, I don't know when the festival in Mount Vernon is, but if I could find out when that is, I'll I'll go and do that. Prince donated millions. African Heritage Heritage Diet Workshop. Oh, it's gonna be an African Heritage Diet Workshop. Y'all heard me talking about it. you heard it here first on Giami. We talk about the African Heritage Diet because we talk about the four pillars of health. Breathing, water, culturally appropriate diet. And the African Heritage Diet is culturally appropriate. It's a culturally appropriate diet that you can start incorporating pieces of or the total thing into your diet so that you can keep the doctor up out your face. Now, I know some of y'all like the doctor. Some of y'all need some attention. I understand. So you, you you go to the doctor to get the attention that you need, right? But we can change certain things by drinking water, by taking that breath, by taking those breaths, by drinking that water, and eating that culturally appropriate food because a lot of sicknesses we get are not, are not genetic, are not, are not, are not ours. Let me just say it like that because I don't know the proper scientific term to use because I don't want nobody to get out there. They're not ours. So when is that? A uh, Wakesa. Wakesa will be here on what's today? Today is the fifth. So Wakesa will be doing, he will do a free piece for us on the evening of the tenth, which is near. Next near, he'll do something free from seven to about nine PM where we where we're gonna have a workshop. Right, he gonna break he gonna break down some of the stuff he's gonna be working on throughout the weekend. Then on the weekend, which will be August eleventh, which will be that Kaumba, after one, we will start and we will do the magnific the Magnificent Seven, 
He'll talk about the river of touches. He'll talk about us aligning the emotions. He'll talk to us about um, the uh, the family lore project or f learning to write about our family lore and teaching our children to write about their families or our, our, our personal ancestors, which we come here to toast, right? He does that, right? Write about it, right? And then also, he's going to go deeper for those who want to be certified in the process. So that will be next week. And the cost of that is you got it's two sessions. So they're $59 a piece, right? So um, come on out. It's real life here, Giamme. Baby, baby, I know that you are not joined on my. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't even have this. Where is the case that are going? She up here joined with my African Warrior CD. This is rare. Give me that. What is you doing? What are y'all doing? Get down. It's real life here, Giamme. I mean, I appreciate I appreciate the creativity, but create with your stuff, not mine. She was tracing it. Whatever. Don't you mess up my CD. Not, Do y'all got on that shea butter? Real life here. All oh, man, I be out of that day of the 10th. All oh, man, I be out of... Uh, Okay, cool. Rich, okay. Shouts out to Sister Rochelle. Welcome. All right. So, family, let's go. On. Um, what else is up? What else is going on right now? Oh, all right. So, shouts out to Sister Jill Jackson. I see you out there. All right, family. So, now, what I got is I got a Mind Stopper story. I pre-recorded it a while ago, and I'm going to play it, and hopefully this could be the center of a conversation. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this because I got to get out of here real soon because we got... Cleveland, you need to get dressed. You take a shower yet? No. What? Yeah. He said no. I know you did. I know you. I, I heard him the first time. Y'all heard him, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you take a shower or not, sir? Yes, I did. Okay. So now, those that don't know, I think there's something going on at APDS for... Uh, the comedic new year. So I'm about to get up out of here. So we're going to pour these libations, right? And then I'm going to play this story. It's called a mind stopper. And I call it a mind stopper for a reason. Now, it's a, in Zen, in Zen Buddhism, what they have is they have coins, um, impossible riddles, that when you lock your mind on these riddles, it stops your thoughts. Because it'd be like, God damn. I got one of those stories for you. African based, culturally appropriate. So I'm gonna play it for you, and um, y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, but hold on. Now drink your water, family. Let's get the water on. You out of town on that day? Oh, but hey, the workshop will be going on that weekend. I'm telling you, this is one of those workshops that'll be worth it, family. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people's looking at because I know, I know, family. We we struggle with the money. I know we struggle with the money, but I'm telling you. This is this is more of an investment because when you start listening to this brother start breaking down the emotional piece, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm not really one to be up on 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 on, on hyping up um, workshops and shit. But this dude, I mean, he real good. Him and him and his wife. I don't know if his wife is coming or not, but um, they get busy. All right, so drink your water. Oh, as a matter of fact, what I'll do. While I'm finishing up my water, while I'm finishing up my water, oh, nah, we won't do it like that. We'll do it like this. Here we go. We'll do a commercial. <laughs>
peace and welcome to our YouTube channel. Check out our videos and podcasts. Subscribe as well as join the journey. Push past your self-imposed limitations. Which end the Giammi journey. Peace. All right, the lines are open, family. I know I've been running my mouth. I'm opening the line. Y'all know we still got toast to ancestors. I, I go off. I'm sorry. I already know. Those of y'all on, those of y'all that's been on the journey long enough, y'all know how brother hot to me is. I go to fuck off. All right. So, um, I'm going to do the mind stopper in a second. I'm going to stop your mind. I'm going to shock you with this one. This one is going to be crazy. But for this libation, we have this very, very young. I want to introduce you to this very, very young Ambrosia, the drink of the gods. We have been joined by... Uh, this call is being recorded. Brother Shaka. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on, bro? We've been joined by... Uh, I think this might be... Uh, sister, is this Sister Navita? Who is this? I'm not here yet. Sister Navita's on here, but I think someone else called prior to me. Okay, cool. We on. The lines are on. What's going on, family? What's going on? Um, I just want... Okay, yeah, I hear Shaka on here. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Good morning. How you doing? All right, how you doing, my brother? All right. Now, I don't know. Somebody just asked, what time does the New Year activity begin today? I'm thinking about 11. I, I'm i just going to drive over there. But I'm just, oh, my God, I got butterflies. Oh, man, I got butterflies in my garden. Oh, that's so beautiful. You know, y'all saying, okay, cool. Let me get let me get back to my hardness. Fuck them butterflies. So you know what? What? I'm a warrior. Anyway. Go ahead. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Uh, <clears throat> Just I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, first thing is the African Arts Festival, African Village Arts Festival over at Kwanzaa Park. Um, I want people to know it's going to be entertainment and music, art, all day. And when we say art, I'm speaking of art of different calibers, different types of arts. We got martial arts, we got culinary arts, we got poetry, you know, this, you know, spoken word forms of art. We got to have a, uh, a DJ, so we're going to have a music piece, you know. We're working on this live band piece. And, of course, we're going to have the Prince tribute, which, which is going to not just consist of music, but there will be a trivia piece on that where you'll have a chance to win some fantastic prizes. So, um that's going to be real nice. And we got the African Heritage uh, Diet Workshop, which I Tim had talked about. And it's free food samples with that. So you can come on out and get a taste of what it's like to eat. Is um, she going to let me get African, some free food um, samples? What did you say, Hot She's going to allow me to get some free food samples. Can you go down there? I need a rag. To... Yeah, you can get some free food samples. And... There's face painting for the children, right. free. Mm. Henna right. tattoos, free. There's a park where the children can play. You know, it's going to be, so it's a family event. Bring your children, bring your lawn chairs, come shop with the vendors. And also, you can just sit back and listen to some music. And I'm even thinking about some of me and my friends, we like to play cards. So we might be out there playing cards. Oh, uh, you know what? You know, Vita, you should have you, 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 We you, might be throwing down on some spades or some big wits out there. So if y'all want to join us, play some cards with us while we're at the festival, you know, come on. Hey, in. hey, Navita, you might want to uh, you might want to advertise a, 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 a space tournament or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like how much how much I, could that cost? I mean, come on. Well, man. I thought about it. I'm a, uh, we got a meeting today, by the way, but I forget what time, and I'll let you know if you if you can make it cool. If not, that me, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me know because uh, I I got my kids all day, so I don't know about. Okay, know. well, I I bring my grandson with me, but um. Yeah, 
You know, he had my grandson be just sit there on that damn uh, phone and be watching right. videos. Right. Cleveland do that, you know, but well, I'm talking about them girls. You know. you, he got all that. He got all that art and all that stuff out <laughs> in the yard. Oh shit, I'm not. But no, we be outside. I, that's what I'm saying. You seen them big birds and, and 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 big balls and shit he got sitting in his yard and Gina and Sasha. Oh, I didn't pay no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gina and Sasha. I can if if, I, if there's somebody out there, they go. Matter of fact, I might send them over to the park with Clee. They scream loud enough. And there I you go. So. There's a park right across the street. Yep, there you go. I've mm. seen LeVon over there too long. If you don't come back with a broken arm, <laughs> we good. <laughs> we good. So, yeah, I wanted to promote that. Also, uh, the kombucha piece, you know, we're going to have some, me and Hot Tim going to have the Daily Toaster shirts for sale. Mm. We're going to have some other shirts for sale. We're going to have the kombucha there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there'll be some free samples on the kombucha. You can buy you some. And let me tell you, all my friends who I've introduced to your kombucha, they all want to continue to buy and uh -oh. buy and buy uh -oh. and buy. So I got some other people I got to get with you because uh -oh. she's got some issues where she's being prescribed probiotics. But I told her what? about the kombucha. Wait. She said she Stop. likes to buy it. Stop. I wanted to, did y'all hear this? Now doctors are prescribing probiotics. See, uh, uh, uh. and they probably cost an arm and a yeah, leg. Yeah, I said, you ain't got to do that. It is costing an arm. Like, you ain't got to do that. I said, my friend got the, got the cure for you. You don't need to be going to the doctor and getting your prescription from probiotics. Yeah, so, so this what this what I, so. Go ahead and get this kombucha. So what I'm going to do is, I'm about to go. I got, I, I'm just waiting for, I got it. I'm going to have to put some money. Because now, because we got to do the shirts, so I'm going to have to go out and buy me about another 12 gallons. I mean, about, uh, I, I think I need about 24 pounds of honey. So I'm going to go and get me about 24 pounds of honey and just get busy before this festival. So, you know. so I, 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 another thing, because I'm not going to stay on the line long, I, but I want—I need to meet with you if possible today. You're going to be in the neighborhood because you're going to be at APDS. So, because I want you to take me to this website because I want to be able to get this stuff together for you. Oh, okay, cool. I'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, I mean, are you you coming to the uh, anything? Well, either either will be at um, with the comedic celebration, the piece that, or or we'll hook up over Bobo Shango's, um, you know, because I was hoping to have the the uh, the pink shirts. Uh, I had some more pink shirts coming, but they ain't coming before the weekend. And then I got another surprise coming far as far as these daily toaster shirts. And you know, I, I'm not gonna ruin it, but hey, we're gonna. Hey, it's about to go down. And um, but uh. Uh, um, Shaka, you on the line? You got something? You want to share with the people? Yeah, uh, Sister Navita, you know I've been uh, I've been here in Cleveland and haven't really um, been active in in the uh, uh, the meetings for the for the festival. But I was wondering what would it take for me to be able to um, to have a little symbiotic cipher. What, 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 what is that? You, you, you just tell me what. I mean, you know, it's just a good just performance. Just, just, oh, just no. Okay, well. Yeah. You can do it. How long would it be? 15 minutes. 15 to a half, oh. depending on. Uh, okay, yeah. you can definitely do that. Let me um, when we inbox me your phone number and stuff, and I'll make uh -huh. sure when I go to the meeting today uh -huh. that I got you, that I have you put on the schedule, and I'll let you know a time. When's the best convenient uh, time for you? Because I know you're coming from out of town. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'll just, yeah, we'll just send me your information. I'm going to call you, and then we'll, I'll, I'll put you in on the schedule today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh-oh. Brother, uh, Brother Joe All right, well, Tim. Yes, ma'am. Well, they got to, well, okay. I don't know if I'm going to make the comedic New Year celebration today. What time is it supposed to start? I think it started at I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't make any announcements then, uh, at all, at all. But you know, what I mean, because really, it was supposed to be something going on at the school um, yesterday. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I'm just driving over there because I remember Elder Tony said something about it supposed to be popping off, and um, and uh, real life here, Giammy Journey. Back up off the cameras, ladies. Um, and I'm just going up there. You know, I hope somebody up there. If not, then um, you just text me. Let me know what time that meeting is. And I'll pop through. Um, but let's go and do this toast because I got about 10 minutes and I got this, this. Y'all know we I'm got. I'm going to hang on up. I'll holler to you later. Absolutely. Right. Uh -huh.
Yeah, one more thing, Hot Tim. Go ahead. Um, I just want to remind folks that I got that joke. Got the five stuff. So yes, I do. <laughs> Joe said, Shaka, I have not forgot about you. Um, brother, brother, Say that again. Uh, brother Joe said, Shaka, I have not forgot about you. Because he seen you online, he wanted you to right. know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, also, and he said, if y'all want to put them on hats, I have a hat press machine and a shirt machine. Family? 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 Now, nah, because uh, we wait, might. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? What just happened there? No, he talking about he got he got the he got the press machine. He said he got a hat machine as well. See, I was wondering. So, do you make your own? Do you make your own? Uh, the the stencil. Do you make that as well, um, brother Joe? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you know we you know I mean, holler at a brother. You make do you make the stencils? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Holler, let's holler. All right. Because it's all, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we we a staff from uh, uh, fashion. I mean, it's like family. We we have so many opportunities that we we go on and start getting, we need to start getting stuff done. That's it. We got to start getting stuff yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. When my fault, we're yeah. getting stuff done. I take that back. We're getting stuff done. We just have to organize it and let everybody know what everybody is doing. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole piece is unity is not necessarily all of us agreeing with each other. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't. It, it unity don't require you to be, agree. You know what I'm saying? It don't require. It don't require that. It don't require all of us to wear the same uniform. It don't require us to believe all the same shit. It requires us getting shit done together, right? So if you work on the left side and I work on the right side and we still building, let's get it. All right, so family, let's do this real quick. Let's do this live base because I want to throw this. I want to throw this. I want to throw this little piece on for y'all. It's called a mind stopper. Here we go. Lifting up the glass to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that great power, the center of all creation. That first. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So um, we, we, we'll talk. Lifting up that glass, family. Right? Celebrating that creator, that first ancestor. And we say, Ashe. From then, we move to the stars of the show. Those ancestors that made it possible for us to be who we are. Right, man? I, and I pray that all your ancestors are on the list. If you want to get your ancestors on the list, hit us up at 614-300-1875. Right? That's the black line. That's the, that's the you know what I'm saying? That's the black line, family. So what we want you to do is to text in the name of your ancestors. Uh, uh, if you text in like uh, hashtag Daily Toast, Daily Toast, if you just text that number, text it, it'll send you back a list so that you can sign up and you can be put on um, the, uh, the, you can be put on the black line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the black signal is what I'm calling it, all right? So, calling on Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert Tex, Anna Davis, Herman Brown, Stephen Rose, Lee Tilly, Joseph, when you watch Chris, Fanny, Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown. Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Falar, Montague Pitman, Nail Normal, Ex, Pat Ma, Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusef Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Ector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, the Luxor Brother, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kale Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rendleman. Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary, Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford, Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Levita Farmer, I go to Sue, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, I Evelyn Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Linda Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, hold on. Hey! Stop! It's real life here, Giami Journey. 
Adi Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keisha Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bolton, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sergeant Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Jerenia Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Investor, Mary Molin, Paul Morland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amatet Wellman, Fred Douglas Trigg Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vena Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, on to the pretty book, Jacqueline Broadus, Ethel H. McNear, Louis Fernandez, Edward R. Benson Sr., Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Roy McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshon Easley, Javier McCormick, Navea Mitchell, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Urban, Hiram Phillips, William Ford Jr., Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Urban Sr., Michael Urban, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Morel Ellis, Elizabeth Ballard, Jeanette Saunders, Jerry C., excuse me, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Baba Naeem, Tim Butler, Ramey Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Tommy Newton Sr., John Dewey and Ruth Beard, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, Lud Oz, Elijah, L uh, Elijah Oz, Jerome Oz, Henry West Statton, Joel Jamel Oz, Miss Vanella, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erlington Houston, Albert Moore, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nana ha Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Hairston, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornette Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slay. Hey, your mom told me, excuse me, your mom told me y'all could take your own hair out. Y'all know how to do it? Take your hair out, Gina. Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson. Vivian Stevenson, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Lester and Rachel Saunders, John Bowie, Alex Nixon, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hat Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, I'm Becker, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Voy Irby, Jim Gauthier, Georgia Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G2 Gibson, Emma McClendon, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Lena, David Brown, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Jennifer Sensenball, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, John, um, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Peanut Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan Charles, Lee Mosley, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Edith Catney, Eugene Spratling, Calvin, Calvin Spratling, Phyllis Lee, Defreitas Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannelberry, 
Shouts out to all of our ancestors. We raise up the common glass and we say, I say. All right, um, Brother Joe says, oh, shouts out to my brother. Allende, our freak is up on the line. Did y'all know when he said Sarah Carter, she is my great grandmother and Sarah Ware is my grandmother and Sarah Berry is my mother. That's three generations of my family. Shots out, family. Listen to me. I just had a brother tell me. He said, man, I listen to your show in the morning. I said, man, I don't even see your signal. He said, I don't even see your thing up. He said, well, I listen, and once you say my mom's name, I cut it off and keep on moving. Some people just tuning in because they want to hear the ancestors' name, family, and you can have your ancestors recognized too because this is how you build family, right? How are we supposed to build family if we don't know each other? And part of knowing each other is knowing the DNA that we come from or at least being able to salute each other's family. And this is what we do here on the journey. So we lift up the glass and we salute our ancestors and we say, I say, from their family, we move to the present moment. I don't got time to play a little clip. And we, we, we salute this moment. And right now we are on Imani, all right? We on Imani, faith day, right? So family, go out and seek. Activate your reticular formations and seek out what it is this day represents, right? Um, start at the tips when you when you break it when you break it down, Gina. At the tip, don't start at the. You, you, okay, cool. I, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't do it, you I'm gonna have to cut that hair out. All right, real life here, Giami Journey. I'm just saying, if you do it wrong, I have to cut your hair. Your mom told me y'all know how to you know how to do it. We lift up the glass. We say our shade to the present moment. From there, we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Our children are constantly learning from us. They're constantly growing with us. So we lift up our glass to our children. And we say, I say, from their family, we salute all of our relation, the earth upon which we stand, and all those things upon the earth that we are related to, which is everything. Man, my garden is jumping off. Ladies, look at the beautiful butterflies out there and the birds and stuff. Y'all missed them. You got to, you got to, y'all going to take your hair off in front of there and watch it. All right, we lift up our, uh, you a cosmetologist now. I mean, shit, I'm a father. I got to be all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm an older brother. I got to be able to do that type. I got to do all that now, right? Many skills. All right, we lift up our, we lift up and we say, I shave from their family. This is that, this that selfish libation, right? This is, you think I'm playing? I'm going to cut, I'm going to have to cut it. Stop, stop. Well, stop. She told you she'll take it out for you. How, how your little sister know how to take it out and you don't? That don't make no sense. You supposed to get it first. Lord have mercy. It's real life here, Gianni Journey. It's real life. All right, we lift up the glass to you, right? This is your moment. Selfish libation. Look at the color of that. It looks green. You, it look green to you. It don't look green to me, but I'm just like, yo, family, this is that elixir of life, right? So we lift up our glass for this selfish, this selfish toast. What is it that you need? See, because we have to really know and understand that when we call our ancestors, we call the creator. Stop. Stop. God damn it. Now I'm going to have to cut hair. When we, call, when we call our ancestors and the creator, they come. So what is it that you need? And we say, I say. From their family, we move to the final part. And we toast the most important, the most important being in the room. And you know who that is? That's you. That's right. I ain't mean to make you jump. The girls jump. That's you. We lift our glass up to you and we say, I say, where's my glass? I say, I say, I say. I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Now check this out, family, before you go, before you go, I want to play this for you. This is called a Mind Stopper. We can have a short little discussion on it. Part one is better. Let's try this one. This is Brother High Tim. And I am coming to you live on Folk Tales for Grown Folks. Well, actually, it's not live. I'm, I'm experimenting with some new technology that I have. Um, I upgraded my phone, and I'm trying to integrate my phone 
You want to try something? Into my radio shows, like I've been doing, but I want to try it in a different way. But this Go get my pick is the this, story of the day, and I call this one of my mind stoppers. I'm going to use this motif in different ways, but I'm going to just use it like this, so bear with me as I tell the story. We have a 65-year-old man, and he's sitting in a bar with his friends. He's sitting with his friends talking about this young girl that he, quote-unquote, knocked off earlier in the day. He hooked up with her. She was 20 years old, and he they had sex. And, of course, this old man, he didn't use any protection. It just so happened that another woman walks into the bar, and she's 40 years old. And this old man shoots game at this 40-year-old woman and end up sleeping with her that night. So he slept with a 20-year-old earlier in the day, took some Viagra, and slept with the 40-year-old on that day. Of course, not using any protection. And he goes home. So seven months down the line, he gets a call from the 40-year-old who says that she's pregnant and she's going to keep the baby. Regardless of what he thinks. Maybe five days later, he get a call from the younger girl talking about she was seven months pregnant and she was going to keep the baby. What he does is he decides that, you know, he's been a player his whole life, so he decides he's going to sit around. Head. So he don't want to sit around with a 20-year-old because that's going to be too much like raising a daughter. And he should have stopped with her in the first place, right? But anyway, he decides he's going to settle down with the 40-year-old. So he hooks up with the 40-year-old and he explains his situation. At the same time she's pregnant, there's another girl pregnant. The 40-year-old woman is cool with that and she's willing to work it out. So what he does is he arranged for both of them to meet because he wants his children to be able to play together um, without any issues, without any uh, craziness. So the young girl comes over and lo and behold, the young girl is the daughter of the 40-year-old woman. Now, that's not the brain stopper, because I'm going to bring the brain stopper on to you. Now, so it so happens that after he make it through this rough shot right here, this rough spot, the women had the babies. He this still hooked up with the 40-year-old. He, so he, he solved the issue because he didn't know. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know. It just happened. So they work it out. Well, Farther on down the line, he finds out that he went to high school with the 40-year-old's mother. And she just happened to be his girlfriend in high school. And right when he left high school, he went straight to the military. So him and her hooked up right before he left. He lost all contact with her because he stayed in the military for 10 years. She didn't contact him or anything, but he found out that she had a daughter. And guess what? The daughter was the 40-year-old woman that he's got pregnant or that he just had a child by. Now, here's the mind stopper. We know the relationship of the man and all the women, but this is my question to you. What is the relationship between the two children? How are they related? Think about it. This is called a mind stopper. If you if you come up with an answer or an idea, hit me up and let me know. All right, this is Brother Hot Tim, and this is Folk Tales for Grown Folks. Peace. That's why I call it Folk Tales for Grown Folks. Now, now, lines are open. Any thoughts on the brain stopper? I got a couple seconds. I got to do my girl's hair before we get up out of here. So, any, so now, once again, for those that couldn't hear, if you couldn't hear, the situation is such. We have a 65-year-old player who just happens to be sitting in the bar. He sits in the bar. He's talking to his other old dudes. You know, we got these old, we got these olders, not elders. We got these olders. He's talking about this 20-year-old girl, girl that he supposedly knocked off, right? He, you know, had sex with her, right? Boom, no protection. Boom, boom, boom. He bragging about it. Another 40-year-old girl walk, 40-year-old woman walk into the bar. She walks into the bar. The same old man hits on her and ends up hooking up with her on the same day. And they go and they have sex and they have a baby. Well, my fault, she gets pregnant. So she calls him seven months down the line. The 40-year-old calls him, calls him 
and tells him that she's pregnant. 20 year old called him and said that she's pregnant. Then he finds out that the 40 year old is the mother of the 20 year old. So boom, he works it out. Boom, boom, boom. They all get together so that they can be at peace, right? Everybody like, well, I didn't know, blah, blah, blah. They work that out. So as time goes on, the relationship develops. You know what I'm saying? The kids is playing together. The kids are born and stuff like this. He starts finding out the history of the 40-year-old. And he finds out that he went to, he went to high school with the 40-year-old's mother. He then finds out and he remembers the girl's mother. And him and the girl used to kick it. Him and the girl's mother used to kick it. And he hooked up with the mother right before he left. And he finds out that the 40-year-old is his daughter. Now, if that's not confusing enough, I want you to think about what is the relationship between the kids. Now, we already, the politics in that house is... Is going to be ridiculous, right? We already know. But the question is, just just for you, because I want you to try to think about what is the relationship between those two kids, those children that was born out of that union, that crazy union. Let me, I'll pick here. Go go pick your hair. I'm gonna go do your um. I'm gonna do your sister. So we gotta get up out of here. All right. I'll leave the lines open for a couple minutes because I got to do Miss Ashamash oh. here. Take the pick right here, baby. The, the, Gina, the pick is right here. You don't need the pick to do your hair? Yeah. Sit down, girl. I don't want people seeing your hair all like that. I need a um, I need a comb. Is there another comb? Yes or no? Mm, yeah. Bring it here. All right, so any, no comments? That's not a goddamn, what is this? Okay. All right, Gina. All right, real life here, Giami Journey, because somebody about to get knocked down. But hey, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Think about the question. If you have anything, post some stuff up on the timeline. Let's get the conversation popping off here, right? What's the relationship between the kids? All right, I'm out. Peace. Yes. I made myself a tattoo. You made yourself a tattoo? Yeah. That's called writing on yourself, baby. That's not a tattoo. Mm -hmm. That's just writing on yourself. You